Let's discuss the acid-base properties of water. Before continuing our lecture series on acids and bases, let's discuss the solvent, water, first. Water is an amphoteric substance. Amphoteric is defined as a substance that behaves as either an acid or as a base. Depicted is the auto-ionization of water. The auto-ionization process is the transfer of a proton from one water molecule to another to produce a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion. In the figure, one water molecule acts as an acid by furnishing a proton, and the other acts as a base by accepting a proton. The result is a base accepting a proton to become the hydronium ion or conjugate acid, and the acid donates a proton to become hydroxide, the conjugate base. The balanced equation is two moles of water liquid yielding one mole of hydronium ion, aqueous, and one mole of hydroxide ion, aqueous. The equilibrium expression is written only with the aqueous products hydronium and hydroxide. Recall, the liquid water is omitted from the equilibrium expression. Equilibrium does not depend on pure liquids or solids. The equilibrium expression for the auto ionization of water is Kw. It is also called the ion product constant or the dissociation constant for water and always refers to the auto ionization of water. And, as mentioned earlier, hydronium can be simplified to the concentration of H+. The equilibrium expression is the concentration of H+, raised to the first power, times the concentration of hydroxide, raised to the first power. In pure water, the product of H+, and OH- must always equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the minus 14. This is at 25 Celsius. This constant is temperature dependent and we'll assume that the acids and bases we discuss here are at 25 degrees Celsius. Let's do an example of using the equilibrium expression. A solution is found to have a hydroxide concentration of 3.6 times 10 raised to the minus three molar at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the concentration of H plus in this solution? Start with the equilibrium expression for the dissociation of water. The concentrations of H plus and hydroxide must be equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the minus 14. The concentration of hydroxide is given. We are asked to find the concentration of H plus. Divide each side by the concentration of hydroxide. The hydroxide terms will cancel on the left-hand side. Substitute the hydroxide concentration into the equation. This calculation gives a concentration of H plus of 2.8 times 10 raised to the minus 12 molar. Here's another example. A solution is found to have a concentration of H plus of 2.0 molar at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the concentration of hydroxide in the solution? Again, we'll start with the equilibrium expression for the dissociation of water. The concentration of H plus is given to us in the problem, and we're asked to find the concentration of hydroxide. We'll divide each side by the concentration of H plus, and the H plus terms on the left hand side will cancel. Substitute the H plus concentration into the expression and the calculation gives us 5.0 times 10 raised to the minus 15 molar. 